All right, hey Libra. So we're doing your guys' um, read for how do they feel about you. So if this read does not resonate, you guys make sure you check your other placements, uh, Moon Rising and Venus signs. And please subscribe if you haven't. You're going to know this is your read by the current situation with you and them. And at the end, when I actually do these love bombs, it's not going to be that every single message that comes out is going to be a, applicable to your situation. It could be that somebody just happens across the video and they resonate with the message. Okay. So, um, the situation with you and this person that's on your mind for Libra, what's going on here? This is, um, this is something new. Here's what I'm uh, instantaneously is coming to mind. You guys have walked away from something. I almost feel not each other. Okay. I feel like you um, both meet. All right. And it's like you um, bump into each other with the full card. It's like you, I almost feel like you guys have recently walked away or you walked away from something in the past and you're like, hell no, I don't want nothing to do with um, love, blah, 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 blah. And then boom, you guys meet and it's a new beginning. And with the Wheel of Fortune coming out, it speaks of like a sudden um, a turn of events, but it's a sudden positive turn of events. All right. So if you're not feeling um, this reading at this point, it, you might want to check your other placements because this is what I feel. I feel like you guys have left something in the past and it could be recent. It could be distant past. All right. But I feel like this energy is like, uh, you know what? F it. I'm not doing it no more. And then boom. All right. And then it's like, oh my God, I wasn't, I don't want this. But we're human. We're human. All right. So let's see what your person's energy is for Libra. What is this person's energy? Wow. You guys are just kind of uh, feeling all sorts of good. Look at they're so happy about this um, new beginning. <laughs> Sorry for the rapid breathing. That was my three year old needing a hug. Um, all right. Your person's energy. Okay. The death card comes in reverse. Um, so this is speaking of being afraid to start something new. All right. But you know what? It's inevitable with this connection and this person knows it. They know it's inevitable and they are just right there with you. Look at their energy. They're happy. They've met somebody new. I almost feel like you guys talk, uh, you guys could actually talk on the phone for hours and hours and hours. Like, um, text all day all right and it's just it's extremely happy energy right um your person's very very excited about this connection so let's just see what else is going on in their life so outside of libra what's going on with this person all right here is what i feel okay potentially um i don't want to bring you guys down in energy um oh what's this okay what's going on in their life all right um quite possibly libra this person could have somebody else they're dealing with um it could be a taurus virgo or capricorn okay um the seven of swords speaks of lying cheating um it's a stolen heart card um but i want to say um this is very positive energy so it could be that this person has been done wrong by somebody just recently in their past so I, here's what I feel. I almost feel like you've been, you could have been, um, distant past. All right. Somebody that hurt you. And this person could have actually recently been coming out of something with somebody that hurt them. All right. That's why they were afraid of the rebirth. That's why this card drops. Okay. And then it's like, they meet you and I feel like it was, um, it's soon and unexpected. All right. I don't feel like they're cheating. I feel like they might've been, um, cheated out of, um, a proper relationship and you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Um, it could be that they were dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn energy. All right. But I feel like this person is looming in their energy as, um, not current. They're not doing you wrong. They're not doing you dirty, but I feel like they are coming out of that energy. They want to be happy. All right. Um, they do want happiness, but it could be like a far reach that this person, um, 
kind of picks up on. Um, but we have the two of cups and I feel like with that two of cups, there's just, there is no denying the energy that they feel with you. Okay. But they are going to be a little bit insecure about the connection. So let's just see how they feel, how they see you, how they feel about you. How does this person see and feel about Libra? So they're going back and forth in their head a lot. Um, I don't feel like this is a juggling card to you. I don't feel like they see you as a a player. I was gonna be, I was gonna say pimp. I'm sorry. You guys, when you start to know me personally, I my language can be really kind of a. Uh, it is what it is. I'm just gonna say that. All right. I don't feel like this person looks at you as a player or or anything like that. I feel like they're going back and forth in their head because they're like I. They're so unexpected about what this situation they, they this was so unexpected about um this it's like you flipped the world upside down i'm going to tell you that they didn't expect what was coming out of this okay um you they see something in you that they have not seen in anybody and this is even in their past all right they look at you as somebody who's got a lot of eyes on you a lot of attention on you you got focus on you but you're also focused positive motivated okay um you're somebody who likes to laugh and have fun all right with the page of pentacles um they this is like it's 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 looming in their head if you don't feel it i'm just going to tell you right now how they see and feel about you, they they can see a connection here, um, but they're going to be a little bit afraid to bring it forward, all right? But they can actually see it, all right? And they feel that with you. The Page of Pentacles is new beginnings, and this is about being able to see um, life come to fruition, okay? So just to confirm that, let's see if they see a future with you. Does this person see a future with Libra? Oh, this person's looking at you. Sorry. This person's, um, it's like they're doing their, they're doing their, um, background investigations, their Facebook stalking, their social media stalking. Um, this person's checking you out They're They want to make sure that you're legit before they give you the offer. All right. Because this person's been trashed too many times. They're wondering what this is. What is this new connection with this um, Libra person? Like, what is this? Um, I feel like this person's blown away. All right. Um, and I, I still feel like this person recently come out of something. But for as new as their um, freedom is, I feel like they've been waiting a long time for an energy like yours to kind of disrupt their life. Whether or not they're going to admit it and whether or not they knew it. So let's see what their intentions are towards you. What is this person's intentions towards Libra? What is their intentions towards Libra? Wow. Look at that. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. All right. We have divine couple here. Um, their intentions. So they're taking you seriously. Even if they pull back their energy, which I feel that they might pull back their energy. Look, and they're looking at you guys as equals. Like, you're somebody that comes in their energetic zone. Like, I just want my equal. And they're seeing you. You're giving them um, a healing vibe. All right? Even when you guys don't talk very much. Um, you could find that this person pulls back their energy because they are going to be scared of the connection. Um, but you you send this person healing energy, Libra. Whether you realize it or not. Okay? Um, that's what the seven of pentacles represents to me. They look at you as somebody who's equally attractive. Um, you guys are both attracted to each other. This is honest, loyal, communicative, um, um, sarcastic, funny. You guys are going to have a lot of fun together. And, um, I feel like you guys have already started that. And this person could just kind of wipe their energy back because they're like, whoa, what's going on here? You know what I mean? But ultimately this person sees, um, a very strong connection. So I'm going to roll this dice and the intention is set for weeks between now and however many weeks is rolled. And then I'm going to pull what the next move is. All right. So for Libra, let's see what the next move is. How long are we, how long are we looking at? So we have five weeks. So between now and five weeks, we're going to see something change within this connection. So let's see what the change is. is. Let's see what is coming what change is happening in the next five weeks for Libra and this person. All right. 
wow i guess i'm gonna take all of these just because of what happened so there's gonna be a lot of transformation okay you are going to see some pullback on this energy. I'm just going to tell you that right now. There's going to be like a major shift. All right. Um, for for however it is um, that this connection presented itself. I do feel like there's going to be um, a large drawback on it. All right. But just hang in there. All right. Uh, nothing's perfect. You've been through this before. And all you can do. Just take this read and sit with it and just know that no matter what happens over the next five weeks if somebody pulls back their energy a little bit they leave you feeling like you've just been abandoned i'm not saying they've ghosted no i don't feel like they're gonna ghost i do feel like they're gonna pull back their energy but let me just give you some advice don't freak the fuck out on them okay don't don't badger them don't ask them what's going on don't ask them why they're pulling their energy back just focus on yourself because if you badger them then it's going to lead to the ghosting phase all right so listen to the advice that you're being given right now this person will pull back their energy all right don't block them don't badger them just let them let them do their thing this is you they're carrying you all right they're taking you with them when they leave so wait for them to come back because the situation is coming back with this judgment card it will, no matter what you think, how you feel, or or whatever, just do not overreact. Let them draw back their energy. It's natural, okay? Because your team is saying they're, it, it's coming back. And when it comes back, here's your Ace of Cups. Here is your Cup of Love. All right? Have some faith. Um, so with that being said, let's just see what your advice is. The advice for Libra. Yeah. All right. So on the drawback, this is confirmed, guys. All right. On the drawback, you focus on yourself. You're somebody who can do shit anyways. All right. You can do shit. You've already experienced it. You can be single. So when you guys go through this little withdrawal phase, instead of freaking out, just pull your energy back in and just um, put some love into yourself, some light into yourself, expand your consciousness, spiritually um, develop, all right, spiritually grow. And your team is saying, once you do that, you're going to don't freak out. I just feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're used to freaking out. Don't freak out on the situation. Let it go. And it's going to come back. Here's the six of swords confirming that. So you're having a little bit of a rocky day. This person's coming back. All right, so you've been with this person for a minute. Let's see what kind of message they want to send to you. All right, for Libra, what's the message for Libra from this person? What, what message is for Libra? What do we got for Libra? All right, so look at if this person is just coming out of something, say you've been single for a minute. Um, Y'all could have been developing a, a, a really keen friendship. All right, you were there um, when I really needed you and I am forever grateful. I admire your caring nature. I admire your way with words. And I admire your courage. All right, so I'm going to pull some initials. And these are going to be yours or their first, middle, or last. I'm not looking. Um, could be a passed over loved one, a city, state, town. Any way you feel these initials um, or letters resonate. So we have O. S. Y. Uh, I we have another T so I'm going to pull one more dang we're starting to get doubles that was another I and then we have C alright so I C Y T O N S Libra you guys, let me know who this is resonating with. Um, I'll keep putting these um, energy check-ins. How did they feel about you? Um, messages out there. Um, so long as I get enough um, response off of them. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you soon.